Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I have my sister here with me and we are doing our Universal Yums unboxing and tasting for the month of September 2022. Now if you're unfamiliar with Universal Yums, it is a monthly snack subscription where you get snacks from a different country each month. And I believe that this month is South Korea, which is Ooh. really exciting, very different flavor profile from what we're used to. And I love that. Now we get the Super Yum Box, which is their biggest subscription. I think it comes with like 20 plus snacks and is $45 a month. They then also have a yum box, which is $29 and a yum regular yum box, which is 17. So there's just like less snacks in each of those. Um, but we get the biggest one because we like to try all of the snacks. Yes. If you're new to my channel, welcome or welcome back. My name is Katrina. My sister's name is Rachel and we are Subbox lovers. We love to share subscription boxes with all of you Subbox lovers out there. So if you like subscription boxes, unboxing videos, food videos, things like that, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and make sure that you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on a future upload. So when you open up the box, that is what it looks like. And we are going to South Korea. On the back of that card, it does list everything that you're getting in the box and you can rate it. Um, and you can like have your favorite worst and weirdest yum. Um, and then inside there's also a pamphlet that goes over all of the products inside. You get to learn all about the country. There's trivia, there's um, information on all of the snacks, there's recipes, um, and there's also all the nutritional information for the snacks inside. Now we're super happy that you're here unboxing and tasting these snacks with us today. So the way that it's gonna work is we're gonna unbox everything first and show you everything that's in the box. And then we're gonna pick a few of the snacks that have the most interesting flavors to us or the ones that we want to try. We won't try all of the snacks, but at the end of the video, we will try a good portion of the snacks. All right, so jumping on in, the first thing that we're pulling out are maple flavored corn puffs, South Korea's fountain of youth. So yeah, I, we've had these before like peanut butter flavored, but I never think, I, I don't think we've ever had maple flavored. Yeah, but the peanut flavored, I don't think were from Korea. I think those are from Germany actually. Yeah, agree. Um, but just, it's interesting because it's like, Canadian Korean. <laughs> yeah, and now I will say we're jumping into fall and like these uh, red and yellow and orange trees and just maple. It is giving me fall vibes, which I don't know if, if they did that on purpose or not, but I love it. All right, up next we have another fun snack. These are cinnamon sugar churros from Spain to South Korea to you. So it's a lot of like international flavors on Korea, which mm -hmm. is fine, but I would like some more maybe, I mean, maybe these are things that people love to eat there and totally yeah. fair, but it's like, okay, we've got Canada, we've got Spain, but I want Korea, yeah. where's Korea? Um, but still really, really good. They feel like they're gonna be pretty crunchy, like hard. Mm -hmm. I, and I like a churro to be like soft, but. Yeah. Not mad about it. All right, so up next we have some choco corn puffs, cacao and coconut puffs. Oh, coconuts in here as well. It On here it just says chocolate um, corns, chocolate corns. But on here it says coconut, coconut as well. So I'm curious to see if there's some coconut flavor in here. We've had these before. We've had, okay. we've been, like, we've been to Korea before. We've been getting universal yums for like, three, four, four years. years. Like mm -hmm. it's been a while. So you, if you do it for a long time, you get the same countries. Mm -hmm. um, so we've definitely had these before. And I remember liking these. Yeah, they do look, they look like um, cocoa puffs, but just big, bigger. Yeah. Like big cocoa puffs is the vibes I get. Yeah. All right, up next we have this here. This is the sweet and spicy teok baki tubes. I'm not gonna be able to pronounce that right. So it's a crunchy snack inspired by Korean rice cakes. I know we've gotten these mm -hmm. before in boxes and I remember liking them and apparently they're spicy. I can't remember if they were spicy or not, but I feel like they were, they were like extremely spicy. They were sweet and spicy from what I remember, yeah. but I think we're gonna have to try them because they're just so unique and fun. Yeah. Up next we have mascarpone filled shortbread cookies, light crispy cookies with a subtle cream filling. I definitely feel like we've had these before. I don't know. Or something similar. Something similar. I don't know if we tasted them on camera, but I think they were pretty basic. I mean, it's just like a crispy, it's kind of like a wafer, but different, a little bit different. It's more like a thin cookie with filling. Yeah. yeah. So I'm, I don't think you can go wrong with like cookie and cream. Yeah. Up next, we do have something similar, and these are the Choco Hazelnut Wafer Cookies. So it's crispy and creamy wafers with a nutty twist. These look kind of good. They kind of give me like Pocky Stick in a different form kind of vibe. Yeah. Because chocolate and hazelnut is like Nutella type filled. I think I would prefer these over the other ones, to be honest. I agree. But Those look more you interesting. Never know. Mm -hmm. Guys, I... 
peach flavored gummies. And look at them. They're like little peach butt hearts. They look hearts. like they have like filling, like a juicy burst of filling inside. And they're soft. I cannot, we're 100% trying we these. We love this kind of stuff. Yeah, we love fruity gummies. These look so refreshing and so delicious. I cannot wait to try these. All right, so between snacks, we were, we were taking a peek and we're like, oh, there's only 16 products in this box. What's mm. going on? We thought it's normally 20. Well, they've changed it. So the Super Yum box is now 15 to 18 products inside. Um, it'll be 10 more products than the Yum box, five more than the Yum Yum box, and it comes with a unique drink every month. So they've switched up a little bit and now we know. All right, the next thing out, I am so excited about. We've never gotten anything like this before. This is the bulgogi flavored noodle snack, smash, sprinkle, and snack. So it's like a bag of bulgogi flavored ramen, and you don't boil it, you smash it up, and then you eat the little ramen pieces out. And it gives you like the instructions on the back. I, we're gonna have to try this one yeah. just because we've never done this before, and it looks really, really fun. I'm not gonna lie, I have been guilty of being the person to eat raw ramen before, like smash it up and just eat little pieces of the ramen before it's cooked because it's crunchy and it's delicious so I feel like this is just gonna be made like made for you yeah <laughs> next up we have something I'm very skeptical about <laughs> they are shrimp chips I've had not this brand but I've had shrimp 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 chips before and, from, they, from. From, <laughs> and they tasted pretty fishy <laughs> So I don't know how I don't know. This is these go. look like they're just gonna be kind of sweet and have a little bit of that like sweet shrimp flavor. Yeah. But we'll definitely have to try these. I also am not a big shrimp fan, more so because of the texture. But we'll try these. We'll see how they are. They look. They're like. It feels like nothing. It's yeah. gonna be light and airy at least. Up next we have this here. This is a marshmallow choco pie, um, which is just like one of the little moon pies. It's got the marshmallow in the middle, the cookies, and the chocolate. Black sugar milk tea. Ooh. Oh. Interesting. I wonder if it has that flavoring. It doesn't look like it has any flavoring, but really cool. Next up, we have some spicy chicken flavored corn puffs. I believe we've had these before as well, and we really like them. They're just little, little puff balls that are spicy chicken flavor. Up next, I'm so excited. We got these in the Korea box before, and they're so good, and they're so sour, and I love sour. These are the sweet and sour grape flavored chews. Like I said, I've gotten these before. They're really sour, and I'm somebody who like loves sour. She does not love sour, so she's gonna have a lot of fun with these, but genuinely, like I like savored every bite of these, and they have vitamin C in them, so they're healthy. <laughs> but we got a nice little grape sour pack. Up next, we received the exact same thing. However, this is in strawberry flavor. They're also very sour and also very good. <laughs> Up next, we have some Pepero cookies and cream flavored. Um, I feel like we've gotten these, I don't know if we've gotten this flavor before, mm -hmm. but I remember them being good. I, I mean, cookies and cream is one of the elite flavors in my book, yeah. so. They, they're like pokey sticks and I love pokey sticks. Pokey, pokey, I don't know how to pronounce it properly, but I love them. Next up, we have a chocolatey snack cake. It's a so soft cake with a fluffy cream filling. It kind of gives me vibes like this one, just like a chocolate cake with cream in the middle, so. Except for these are cookies, not, uh, we're about to like lock arms, hello. Yeah. No, but this is a little cake. Yeah, but those are cookies. Oh. All right, and last but not least, we have the drink. So previously in the Universal Yum's Super Yum box, you got 20 snacks and, and anybody could add on a drink, but it was like six or eight dollars to add on a drink. And we did it once or twice because I have a YouTube channel and so it comes out of the YouTube channel budget. But for me, like six to eight dollars for like a drink was kind of a lot. Mm -hmm. So I am excited that it's being included in the box. This looks incredible to me. This is a grape soft drink with coconut jelly. Ooh. This is their first ever drinkable yum. So this is the first time they're including this. Um, and it does have like floating jelly in the drink. I'm so, so excited. I'm really excited. I'm excited that they're having drinks in the box. And this, I, mm, this just sounds, it, or, this is giving me like those aloe vera drink vibes mm -hmm. that has like the light, sweet, and then you've got like the chunky stuff in it. Yeah, that sounds so delicious. And I love like boba tea or things that have little like chewy things inside of them. We need to do our them. walk and go get boba again. That was yes, fun. That was a lot of fun. Um, so I'm curious to try it. All right, so we have picked nine different snacks to taste with you guys. The first thing that we are going to try are the spicy chicken corn puffs. All right, they look like little fried chicken corn nuggets. balls. They yeah. look like little tiny mini chicken nuggets. They look good. Yeah, I'm excited. All right, let's go ahead. So those were really, really good. Much sweeter than I expected. It's almost like a honey glazed type of moment going mm -hmm. on there, but really, really good. And it is spicy, but it doesn't taste spicy at first, and it builds. It's kind of a back of the throat, back of the mouth, like, Mm -hmm. light spice and it do, it did kind of like build up 
Mm -hmm. but nothing that I can't handle and it, I thought it tasted good. Yeah, it's definitely getting spicier, but it's, I can even handle it. I mean, it's I'm not preferred, but yeah. I do think they were good. I really like the texture. I like how crunchy they were, but they were, were still, still kind of like puffed. So yeah, it was a nice texture. All right, up next, we're gonna try these bulgogi flavored noodles that we're gonna smash. Okay, so the instructions are that you open it up first. So this is what the noodles look like, but you take out the seasoning packet and then we're gonna smash them on the table like this. So I'm gonna give her the honors and then you spink, spinkle, spinkle. sprinkle the spices in, close the bag, shake it, and then eat them. Okay, so she just crunched those. It's a nice, you can kind of crunch them to whatever size you want them to be, more or less. So now let's sprinkle the stuff in. All right, so you got the spices in. Oh, it smells, can you smell it? It smells good. It smells mushroomy. You smell mushroomy. <laughs> Grab some, and this is what they look like. Ready? Yep. Those were really good. Now they did have a barbecue flavor. I'm not really sure what bulgogi's flavor profiles are, but we both got barbecue out of it in a good way. Yeah. Um, they're not hard. They're not like a super hard noodle where it's hard to chew. They're really crunchy and really delicious. I liked them a lot. Yeah, personally, I probably would put a less of the flavor packing in, packet, packeting in, that's not, pack it in, because some of them are like really coated, and mm -hmm. I'm somebody who prefers like a lighter flavor profile, mm -hmm. but I thought that they were really good. Yeah, I will say it had a sweeter note to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Up next, we are going to try these shrimp chips, so here we go. Here we go. <laughs> smells like fish food. It smells like under the water fish. No, you know when you open like fish food Stop, to be fish? I like those flakes that you feel, oh my god. I can't sniff it or I'm going to not eat it. I don't know if I can eat well. We have to. Okay. Just plug your nose. <laughs> oh my gosh, here I got you one. Okay. Don't sniff it. I know, you. it's okay. Here we go. It didn't taste good. <laughs> All right, she's okay. She didn't actually throw up. Um, I did not, they don't really taste like anything and then there's like a little bit of a shrimp thing. I won't be eating those. I mean, they're not yeah. like bad, but I won't be eating them. I, honestly, I think part of it's all in my head. I got a tiny bit of shrimp and it just like, yeah. If you like fishy, seafoody things, you'll like these. If you're like us and you don't, then you probably will not like yeah. these. If something grosses you out from the jump without even tasting it, then it's like, it's in your head. So yeah. they probably aren't that bad. They didn't have much of a taste, but the smell along with a tiny bit of shrimp, just, they're not for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, up next, we're gonna try these spicy, was it tekboki, tektok, I don't know, noodles. So this is what they look like. I remember these. Yeah, right. they have a good, just like light fried scent. Yeah. Okay, so those were good. They don't taste like I remember them tasting. They're a lot sweeter and a lot less spicy than I thought. I definitely got a little kick, but it's not bad or unbearable. Like it was tiny and it went away pretty fast. So I don't know, for the most part, those are just sweet. Yeah, I, these taste the way that I remember them. I knew that they were gonna be sweet. I didn't really get any of the spice. It might be because we just had the spicy chicken, like maybe a tiny tingle, mm -hmm. but it might be because I handle heat a little bit better than she does too, so that could be it. But I, I like those, they're very sweet. And they taste good. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, next up we are going to try the cookies and cream. Peppero? Peppero. Alright, so these look super fun. You have the white chocolate or the cream and then the cookies. Cookies? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Those were okay. I don't know, I was expecting more. The mm -hmm. white chocolate's not bad, but it's a very bland white chocolate. And I guess yeah. white chocolate is, but the the white chocolate was, is what's throwing it off for me. Agreed. But maybe I'm just not used to having white chocolate with those sticks. Normally I have a dark chocolate or a milk. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's why, but it wasn't bad. I will say I really like the stick part. Something about those little uh, sticks, yeah. the way they snap and they're just country or cr crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> they're country. <laughs> I was trying to say crunchy. It's just super delicious to me. All right, up now. <laughs> Up next, we're gonna jump in and try their hazelnut chocolate and see if that's any better. They're individually wrapped. Yeah, so they're all individually wrapped, which is very cool. All right, so it has like two sides to it. It's a different kind of wafer. It does, Rachel's saying it gives like, it has like that Kinabuino wafer vibe. vibe. Yeah. Okay. 
So those were good. I was very impressed by the chocolate filling. It had a Nutella, hazelnut, creaminess to it. I wasn't expecting it to be as good as it was. Um, very good. The wafer part needed some help. It was just kind of like crispy, but... It no had, flavor. No flavor at bland. all. Very bland. Very bland. What I said, this was when we were tasting, I was like, um, the, the wafer needs to bring some vanilla to the table. Mm -hmm. Like, it needs to bring something. It just tastes like cardboard. <laughs> yeah. Cardboard is the perfect description. <laughs> but the chocolate was really good. Yeah, it was still delicious. I would eat the whole box. Up next, we are very excited to be trying the peach gummies. Well, it kind of smells like peach fart. Poop, but it's fine. Yeah, I didn't get the part the fart poop. Part. <gasps> oh little, my gosh, they look like little butt cheeks. The little butt cheek heart peaches. They're really cute. Oh and they're yeah. oh my god, they're squidgy. Oh my gosh. Okay, we just gotta try it. Oops. <gasps> I dropped mine. <laughs> Ooh. Um, the cream inside. It's not cream, it's well, The goo. <laughs> These are good. I mean, they're good. They taste like peach. They're gummy. They got the nice juicy fruit inside. Mm -hmm. They do taste a little artificial. Shocker. But they're great. Yeah. Good gummy consistency. Good bouncy bounce. Cute packaging. They seal. Bouncy bounce. Yep. I Technical terminology. I don't disagree, though. <laughs> yeah. Now, I just want to talk about the size of the bag. These are perfect for on the go. <laughs> if they sold these here, I would buy them every day. And put them in my little purse. You know, they're the perfect size. Wait, you can stick them in your little pocket. Actually, you no, it doesn't, it doesn't fit. But well, you could put them in a bigger pocket and then just grab them throughout the day. They fit in mine. <laughs> perfect. Like work vibes, you're just at work. <laughs> I would totally do that. I would too. <laughs> Up next, we are trying the dreaded sour grape candy. I am not excited about this whatsoever. I'm very excited about this whatsoever. <laughs> so they do come individually wrapped. And they look like, oh, I can't, this is going to be so sour. I can, my mouth is like watering. I cannot wait. All right, you ready? No. I loved those. That grape flavor. It's obviously artificial grape. Now, those were not as sour as I remember them being. I think the strawberry ones might actually be more sour than the grape, but the sour kind of builds throughout. Mm -hmm. It's not an overwhelming sour, and you probably agree, but it builds into this nice, like, mouth-watering, delicious, sour, grapey, yummy. Yeah. I was having like a moment with my um she thing. was she was, was dancing and it, because it tasted good it was a happy dance i love those i'm so excited to have more and i'm excited to try the strawberry ones too again and they're just really good i will say it is more of a sour note versus a mouth puckering sour like there was nothing that would make me go like you know airheads do you are you a super yeah. sour thing but i do taste a sour note like the sourness is there but they weren't as bad as she described them so i was fine from one grape to another, we are now moving on to the white grape and coconut drink. We're having we have sugar in our I was body about now. To say, I think she's had too much sugar. I think I have to cut her off. Okay, well we're gonna open this up. What does it smell like? It smells like grape juice. Yeah. I'm, I don't know if the jelly is gonna come out if we pour this, but we're gonna pour this we into glasses. We should have shaken it a little bit. Oh yeah, you got some jellies. Ooh, they're like little fishy swimming around. Oh my god. Do you guys see the little jellies? <laughs> I want a little bit more. Well, let's start with this and then we'll have more after. Let's make sure we actually like it. Okay. All right. Cheers. Should we? Ooh. I need, it's I like really one. chewy. You only got one. I took out like all of them. It's like really chewy. It's uh, like a grape water with just a little, I don't taste coconut though. I don't taste coconut, but it's like flavorless, but they're much more chewy than like a tapioca ball or a boba. Like it's much more chewy than that, but I like yeah. it. It's, it's very aloe vera drink vibe, but chewier. Yeah. And it tastes like a grape water versus a grape soda to me. In yeah, a good it's, way. It's I not like sparkling, it. but yeah. I like that a lot. That's really refreshing and nice. Mm -hmm. I feel like if we put that in the fridge, that would have elevated it to a 10. I'm curious what the yeah, coconut things would have tasted like, like if it was in the fridge too, if they would have been harder. True. Um, we didn't put it in the fridge because we didn't know there was a drink in here, but now that we know there's going to be a drink in the Universal Yums going forward, we'll try to remember to like take the drink out and put it in the mm -hmm. fridge before we film. But that was everything in the Universal Yums box for September, the South Korea box. I thought it was fun. Yeah. Um, I love this box because you get to try new flavors and new things. Um, my favorite thing is the grape sour chews and maybe the drink. That's your favorite thing? This was my favorite thing, I cool. believe. 
Definitely let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. What did you think of this box? Have you gotten this box? Have you tried any of these things? What did you think? We would love to hear that down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on a future upload. And we'll see you in our next video.